about you guys. I love nachos. I love going to Applebee's and getting their nacho platter. It's amazing. However, in this time of COVID, it's very hard to do. Don't really want to take the chance. So I'm going to show you how I make nachos at home for me and Kathy. So first we're going to start off. You can do chicken or steak. We're going to do steak this time. Uh, for this, we're using a certified Angus beef loin, sirloin steak, boneless steak. We're going to take our lovely crock pot. We're going to open up our steak. And now this is frozen. I had it sit out for just a little while so I could tear that off. We're going to pop our steak right into the middle of the crock pot. And now we're going to take, we're using College Inn beef broth. didn't open so we're just gonna pop it open all right here we go we're gonna pour this over our steak you don't want to go too fast because you don't want it to splash everywhere this go overnight. I'm going to go ahead and set this up on low. And I'm going to set it for about eight hours. Well, I'll do eight and a half hours. And we're going to go ahead and place the lid on top. Now I always lock it in place just to make sure I got a good hold and then I unlock it because you don't actually want to leave these locked. They say that's bad for the crock pot. Who am I to argue? Now we're going to let this cook overnight, eight and a half hours, and we will see you in eight and a half hours. Welcome back. So our steak has been cooking for over eight and a half hours. Very cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut up our steak. Oh, yeah. These are nice and tender pieces. And they should shred up very nicely. As you see, they are falling apart. very nice and easily. Now the other alternative is you can fry this up and then just cut it into little cubes. Comes out delicious. Uh, you put a little salt and pepper on it, a little olive oil in the pan and just cook it up. But for us this is a little easier. It makes it more tender and we like how soft it comes out. And there you have your shredded meat. Now to get the rest of our ingredients. Today, we will be working with fresh salsa. Get this at ShopRite, it's delicious. We're gonna to use Tostitos queso. Tostito chips. Now, 
You can use any kind of chips for this, whatever you prefer. We have a few from the last time we're probably gonna use up first. Um, gotta say though, the hint of lime, or uh, hint of lime, I'm sorry, the hint of jalapeno is probably the best Tostito. Love it. Unfortunately, it's hard to find. All right, we're gonna start by taking some chips and putting them on our plate. Just get a, a nice little layer to start. The first thing you're going to want to do is add your cheddar jack. Just a nice little sprinkling on top. And we got our Tostitos, queso. You just lightly add this. Now there are other things you can add. Obviously, uh, I've seen people put jalapenos on it. Not bad. We're going to take some steak and layer on. And we're going to top it with just a little bit of salsa. Okay, now we're ready to start putting some more on. Do a second layer. Just dribble this on top. bit of steak. Now you can also add some salt and pepper if you want. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I think it is fine the way it is. And again, top it off with your salsa. And if you haven't ever tried the fresh salsa at ShopRite, let me tell you, it is delicious. And we have our plate. <laughs> 